Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen. Today we are going to venture into problem number 2799 titled Count Complete Subarrays in an Array. So sounds like a challenge. Well, uh, let's dive in. So the problem presents us with uh, an array of positive integer and ask us to find the number of complete subarray. A subarray is uh, considered complete if it has the same number of distinct elements as the whole array. So uh, it's quite interesting and uh, we will try to implement it in Python. And don't worry if you are a fan of other languages, we got you covered with solution in C++, Java, JavaScript and C Sharp uh, in the video description below. So let's uh, yeah, look at some examples. So for example, we have uh, array of uh, like this, uh, one, three, uh, one, two, two, and uh, output is four. And this is because we have uh, here, so in this array, we have uh, distinct numbers, uh, one, three, and two. So it's three number. And also this sub array of uh, one, three, uh, one, two, consists of a three distinct number. Uh, this is also three distinct number. And this array is also have three distinct number. This one, three, one, two is also three. And this one is also three. And we are asked to output the number of all uh, distinct arrays. So uh, one, two, three, and four, because all those sub arrays have uh, three elements. And we also have uh, another uh, example with uh, array of five, five, five. So this array have uh, five as distinct number. So it's only uh, one distinct uh, number. And uh, so any sub array uh, is complete. So number of complete sub arrays uh, are total of 10. And this is because we have, for example, uh, five, 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 or uh, five, uh, five, uh, five, uh, five, 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 uh, and so on. And uh, it will be total of 10 uh, Rx. So, uh, let's uh, dive into our function. So uh, it's called count complete sub array, and it's going to take a list of integer as input, and we will use a sliding window approach for this problem. Uh, so for each right boundary of the window, we will move the left boundary to the right until the number of distinct element in the window is less than the number of distinct elements in the entire array. So the number of complete sub arrays ending at the right boundary is then the size of the array minus the right uh, boundary. So uh, let's implement it and I will explain it step by step. So first, n will be len of num, so just a distinct elements will be len of set of nums and count will be zero and left will be zero and right will be zero as well. And counter will be our counter and while right less than n counter num right plus one and while len of counter equals distinct elements counter num left minus one. And if counter uh, num left equals zero, uh, delete counter num left left plus one and count plus n minus right and right plus one and finally return count. So this is our implementation. Let's run it for uh, 
given test cases. So as you can see here, we have four sub array that are complete. And in this case, we have 10. So everything as expected. So now let's dive into the code. So uh, let's break down uh, this code together. So we start by initializing a counter to keep track of the number of occurrences of each number. And we then iterate through the array, adding each element to the counter. And if size of the counter equals the number of distinct elements in the entire array, we increment the left uh, boundary and the count by the size of the array minus the right boundary. So, uh, and that's it. So we, uh, due to this fact, we can uh, count sub arrays uh, that are complete. So uh, let's verify our code also for uh, unseen test cases. So I'm running it. And yeah, our implementation is quite efficient. I don't know. So uh, we beat 100% with respect to runtime and memory, but uh, it looked like there is uh, not so, not enough accepted submission to show data. Okay, so uh, all good. And there we have it. Our solution correctly counts uh, the number of complete sub array. And I hope you found this video helpful and it added some value to your coding uh, journey. And remember, the best way to improve is by practicing. So don't forget to code every day. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel for more awesome coding content, uh, subscribe and leave any uh, question or suggestion in the comment section below. And until next time, keep practicing. Happy coding.